So I thought I'd make one more brief video about these Tanko zone valves and how they operate. Because it's my, um, for this um, hot water base system that's in this house that I bought three years ago, this is new to me. I grew up in a, in, I, I've always had houses where the furnace is, has just burned gas and it's been a hot air circulated. Um, so this, the way the furnace behaves when, or the way this boiler behaves, troubleshooting it, is different from what I'm used to and that's what I wanted to sort of point out. Someone else is in my same situation. These Taco Zone valves control the flow of hot water, but they, they do more than that. They control the furnace, the boiler itself. So when you're, when you set your thermostat to call for heat, whether it's a mercury switch where you're turning the thing to the right, the, the counterclockwise, and you say, you know, set it at 75 and the house is some temperature below that, you can hear it click. Um, or the electronic thermostats that most people have these days, you know, you, you tap heat up, whatever, you set it to 74 degrees, the house is at 69, the little indicator comes on whether it's a tech um, you know a liquid crystal display that says heat on or is a light that comes on or something anyway that so the thermostat closes a switch upstairs in your living space that sends power to this Taco zone valve and this thing is an electromechanical device that um, there's another video on YouTube that has a that shows you the internal workings of it but long story short it takes like a full minute before this thing inside does what it needs to do to pass the call for heat on to the the control system the electronics of the of the boiler and um so you you need to be patient you need to understand how this thing's working if you're trying to troubleshoot and you go up and you turn the you know, you set the thermostat to 80. It's like, why is my house coming up? Why am I not getting heat? You set it to 80. You don't you come down here, you don't hear anything going on. That's because in normal operation, there's this heater element in here that's heating this grease. And when the grease gets hotter, it expands and it moves this piston inside and it closes a switch. Well, let's, let's the contacts of the switch come together and that takes time it takes like a minute and it's silent you don't hear anything happening but when it finally the piston finally extends and the switch makes contact then the circuit is closed so be patient when you're trying to troubleshoot these things and conversely like if you power things down it it's got to cool off and come back so don't just be flipping things on and off super fast you know like it's easy for you to get someone upstairs and say you know, you're on you're yelling to them turn the thermostat up turn the thermostat down it doesn't work that fast on these things so be patient um, and you know you'd be better off putting a multimeter on these things to actually see what's happened inside um, so anyway just a brief one you can force this thing with this lever but there's there's more information about that on YouTube and online I'm not going to go into that